after my 49th book, I thought, okay, now I will write about racism because I have enough of a backlist that features different kinds of stories that I won't be known as the racism writer or the issue writer, but I am, but never mind. But I, that's when I wrote Noughts and Crosses. And Noughts and Crosses came about because I finally felt ready to address racism head on in one of my stories. And I also wanted to deal with some of the things that happened to me in my childhood and in my teenage years, things that I thought I had dealt with and I had let go. But in writing the book, I realized I hadn't let them go. I just buried them very deeply. So writing that book meant that I had to deal with an awful lot of things from my past. And that's why I found the book very um, painful to write, but very satisfying to write. So again, I would say... If you have painful experiences in your past, if you're mentally ready to write about them, then I would say lean into that. I also think part of the reason I didn't write Noughts and Crosses before then was because I wasn't ready to kind of address some issues from my own childhood. But I would say don't shy away from those painful subjects because they really do come across as true moments when people are reading about them in your stories. <laughs> 